Hey friends, so I went over to AutoZone last night and I picked up this front crankshaft uh, oil seal. It was like 13 or 14 bucks. Not a big deal. I could have gotten it cheaper on Rock Auto, but it would have taken a long time to get here. Um, and I also have a shaft seal puller that I already own. This is a lot. I'll put the link to this in the parts or in the comments. And before anybody makes the smart ass comment, you gotta pull the timing chain cover. You gotta pull the timing chain cover. No, that is not correct. You can pull the timing chain cover, but it says right here, crankshaft oil seal removal, page nine dash 108 from the factory service manual. This procedure is done with the timing taste cover installed. So you do not need to remove the timing chain cover unless you just happen to want to. I have 111,000 miles on this engine. Bearings are in spec. I'm not replacing the bearing, the timing chain today. Thank you, Satan. Anyway, and the installation says right here, this procedure is done with the timing case cover installed. So it does not need to be replaced. Now it does show a special tool and I have a secret source for these special tools that's a lot cheaper than the Mopar tool. I'll get to that later. But first, let's put some gloves on and see if we can pull this out. And before we do that, we're going to clean up. So I'm gonna just kind of reposition this to the part that's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna put the gloves on here so that I can get my hands dirty. What I'm gonna try and do is clean off the grime and dirt. When I looked at this rubber seal, I felt like it wasn't in that great a shape. It was probably serviceable, but not very. And so I'm gonna put a little acetone on this rag And I'm gonna see if I can get rid of well, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be I just don't any of, want any of this making its way into the engine doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It seems pretty baked on. Oh my god, this might have been metal at one time. I thought maybe it was painted black. No, it's just been leaking from somewhere for a long time. So we're going to go ahead and get it clean. Acetone is a very powerful solvent and it works wonders on old deposits. I can't believe this is like changing colors. And it's filthy. All right, that ain't perfect, but that's good enough. So, the way this tool works 
is you adjust this right there grab it from the edge again. So there is a spring in here that I'm trying to grab. Not very impressed with this tool. I had high hopes for it. issue is it doesn't want to lock. It's just not very good at that. So the other thing we can do in here and I can see the spring. So this is called a garter spring. Yeah, this, this tool rotates the instant you put pressure on it, which is kind of irritating. I had really hoped that this would make short work out of this. Nope. Right back. So you're supposed to put this hook behind the lip of the seal. Tighten this and then push down. It ain't working. So we've got the older style.
there we go. So, old school to the rescue. I don't think the other one would have ever gotten that out of there. And let's see what we removed. So I can't recommend the Lyle tool. It just doesn't work worth shit. we have here we have a really raggedy worn out ass uh seal so we're gonna throw that away that was the right decision i don't have any regrets on that oops we're splashing the acetone around so we're gonna cap that off We're just going to clean this out. So I want to get in here a little bit, so I'm going to use a rounded tool. feel this I'm feeling for burrs I don't feel any burrs so I'm I'm confident that we're good there so we're gonna go ahead and get the new seal out all right so at this point the factory manual calls for something called Perfect Seal, and I don't have any Perfect Seal, but I do have some RTV, and I think it's the same thing. I think Perfect Seal is actually spray gasket. Not a product I'm fond of. and uh, But I'm gonna put just a very thin amount of RTV in here to seal any imperfections. So we're gonna take a little bit of RTV. transform it into perfect seal with our finger. And that's probably all it takes is just a little fuzzball sized piece of RTV. New set of gloves. I told you I had a secret tool, a um, one and a half inch coupling fits this seal perfectly and can be used as a press. So we're going to take this off. There's going to be a little bit of oil in here, but that's okay. And 
got to remember where the seal goes. So the garter spring goes towards the engine and then you just work this in here. You might not even need to work real hard. It looks like it just pushes in. There you go. Didn't need a tool at all. But I'm going to go ahead and use this to, to seat it all the way. And so what I'm trying to do is there's a little lip back there and I want to make sure that I am seated squarely in the lip. And again, this is just a little $1.50 inch and a half PVC coupling. So that's it. That's all there is to putting that in. Now, we're not done. Now we got to install the harmonic balancer and there's a whole bunch of noise on the internet about that too. But it's not as hard as the noisemakers would like you to think it is. Now, I'm not going to put this engine together. This engine probably won't run for a couple weeks. So I'm going to use Super Lube, which is one of my favorite materials. It's an excellent, excellent grease. And so I'm going to grease the seal. And then I'm going to grease the shaft. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, I will put a link for Super Lube in. You could also use five W thirty, which is engine oil. Okay, so at this point, this is well lubed up, way more than it needs to be, and that's okay. All right, I have an extra thing of five twenty. It's not the right grade of oil, but it doesn't matter. So if you were going to use oil, you just take your chip brush, dip it in there and get some oil, and then just lube this thing up. Okay? That's all there is to it. It ain't going to hurt to have both in there. So we will set that to the side. Okay? Next, this is the old one. You can see it's all beat to hell up, so we're not going to install that. What we've got here is a Deco Power Bond Harmonic Balancer. It's a nice unit. My only gripe is it's made in China. Cheap asses. Why can't you make it in the U.S. anymore? So, and again... To make this easier, I'm going to go ahead and grease the inside of this and then I'm going to grease the outside of this because that's the bearing surface oh, I'm sorry the seal surface and I'm very carefully get down on the ground carefully I think that's right. not sure if this is in here right. The engine's pointed down a little bit.
All right. So the factory manual says to tap it back in place. Let me double check it. Apply sealant to the keyway, align the keyway, tap the damper onto the crankshaft. That doesn't look right. I'm just making sure the key is set. Nope. That has to be tapped in. See if this has anything to say in here. Nope, nothing. That seems to be better. It is tapping in, so this does work, even if it seems absolutely batshit crazy.
All right, so. What we're gonna do at this point is use a breaker bar. Alright, so it's snug. Now we need to see what the torque setting is. 80 foot pounds. And that's where this wrench is already. That's going to wrench the engine over. So, let me see. All right, so I've got my number two uh, cylinder. So we're going to use a trick we saw on the internet. Let me pause the footage so you can see what I'm about to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to feed rope in here. So we also need to uh, put Loctite in here, thread lock. Or we'll be sorry later. Almost forgot to do that. it doesn't want to budge. still doesn't want to budge. All right, I've never had to clear one of those before, but I used a little tiny drill bit. Now I'm gonna put a bunch of this on here and then we'll recap it. And 
for the sake of my fingers, we're going to, or, yeah. Okay, so that's on there. Now we gotta figure out how to lock this out. So I'll be right back. All right, I think I've got a improvised solution. So first, let's just see how tight we can get it. There we go. Uh, that's a uh, wrench for pipe or plumbing, but it worked. So now we're torqued. That's it, folks. That is replacing, um, well, there's still one piece of shit bolt behind here that is not on. Ah, fuck me, we'll try and do that. I'm gonna call that part of this project. Should have done this before the balancer went on, but there's a bolt right there that's supposed to be installed. And I have the bolt. In fact, this is the bolt that has tried to get away several times. Right there. almost threw this bolt away. <laughs> Oops, that would have been a mistake. Although it, it hasn't been in a while, so I don't know that it's that super critical. Damn it, I should have done this before. But I think I can actually get that. It's just going to be irritating. And before we do, we're going to take those off. Because that'll give me a little more access. The water pump's going to be the next project. So that gives me access to that. Next trick is I want to wash this with acetone. So I'm going to wet a shop towel and just see if we can get some of the grease off here because that may be part of the reason this popped out. figure out what size this is I'll be right back it's a 3 8 uh, head so I'm gonna put 
some thread lock on here. I'm gonna put a lot of thread lock on here because I don't want to see this bolt again. And then we're gonna explore why this is probably here in the first place. Because it probably slipped out of somebody's hand just like that. So we know it's a 3 8 and we're probably going to have to work really hard for this one. so mad at myself for not putting this in when I had the balancer off. There's just, I mean, it's in a V, so you really can't get your fingers around it. Wow. Well, kids, I might have to take the harmonic balancer off to get that. That's fucking annoying. That's fucking annoying. Oh well, I don't see any other options. But at least we know how to put it back on now, so let's do that. comes over here.
that goes on here. This will be really easy this time. Ha ha ha! That's there. Twice is so much more fun, but only when we can find the socket we need. just a second ago. There it is. Hiding where I left it. pisses me off having to do that twice. Okay. Now this hokey piece of shit is accessible. Let me find out what the torque spec on that is. All right, so this should be 12 foot pounds. As should the rest of these.
that's good enough. find uh, a clean brush. The other one fell on the floor and got stuff on it, so I'm going to use my finger. And that'll be good enough. All right. but we want that bolt off there first. Still needs to be hammered. So we're going to repeat the trick we did earlier. Now that the difficult bolt is tightened. that's it that project is done uh, I I'm I appreciate everybody watching I hope watching me do it twice was more fun uh, I'm gonna pause the video clean up and I will pick up on the water pump uh, and the thermostat housing tomorrow that's the next project